I try to make things that have a sort of simplicity, a sort of quietness in in their presence. It's sort of that they they they're not loud. They they have a a, a usable quietness to them, even if they're actually incredibly complex in their structure. Um, I like the the presence they have to be one of quietness. So the process of making or uh, well, turning an idea into a real thing can take uh, one of a few different forms. One of the, the first really is just that I, I have an idea, almost a fully formed idea in my mind and I can like just start and make it. Um, but other other things are, you know, other designs tend to be, they can be incredibly difficult to to take from idea to realization because there isn't a full um, full concept of what the thing is going to look like. It's more um, an idea of two materials together, and there can be a very long process of trial and error and experimentation and prototyping. It can take months and months and months to eventually get to something that works, and it's um, that process of finding finding the thing in the idea can, can take a very long time. And that will take in drawings and um, 3D modeling on the computer and um, just trying everything out until it starts to feel right. I think because I don't come from a, um, a furniture making background or even a product design background or anything, I think I have quite a um, sporadic approach to the processes I use. I just kind of try and do whatever seems either interesting or um, appropriate to what I'm doing. So it'll generally be a mix of machining and handwork. So with this thing that I've been making today, it's turning it on the lathe, which is you know, effectively a machine process. Um, and then taking that regular shape that you've made and intuitively hand shaping it until it takes on the form that you were looking for in the first place. I like that furniture making has some basic standards that it has to satisfy, like a chair has to support the weight of a body. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't do that, it's a bad chair. <laughs> so I like having that, those restraints to start with, but there's so much scope within that to, um, to find aesthetic expression, to, uh, to solve an interesting problem about you know, how, how do you work within those constraints because some of them are annoying. <laughs> you know, why does the thing have to have this many legs or you know, why does the surface to sit on have to be here? And there are certain things that can be frustrating and that forces you to solve a problem and to do it elegantly. And that's the kind of the ever-changing and ever-interesting part of, of designing furniture. Thank you.